tmux is a way to divide your terminal, establish different windows, which I like to call tabs, and be able to save that session of your terminal for later use. So it's a way to customize your terminal and how it looks. The way to do this simply is to first install tmux, which I'll have the instructions to do on my website, applejuicescholars.com. But in this video, I will be going over how to actually use tmux. You can start tmux by just typing in the command tmux, T-M-U-X. After that, you can see that now I have some a blue underline in the screen with a number. We'll get to that number in a second in the, bra in the brackets, okay? Now, the first thing and the most powerful use of tmux that you must understand is that every command starts with a leading key. By default, this leading key is control B. Every command that you do starts with control B and then ends with the next key that actually activates it. So if I wanted to split a pane, that is the percent sign. If I do control B and then the percent sign, I can, you can see that I split it vertically. If I want to split it horizontally, it is the leading key, control B, and then the double quote sign. So I split it horizontally from where my cursor was. Now, as you can see, I have three panes. Now, to move my panes, to move my cursor around my panes, as you can see, I am in this pane right here, the lower right, I can then do control B, arrow key. So if I want to move up, I did control B, arrow key up, and then I can do control B, arrow key left to move to the other arrow key, okay? Something I also want to note is to quit a pane, it is X. So again, my leading key, control B, and then X. And it will give me a confirmation, kill pane, yes. I'm going to press yes, and now I have the two panes move over and take up the rest of the screen. That's pretty cool. Also, also, there are ways to resize screens. The way to do this is again your leading key and then option or alt possibly if you're on another computer and then an arrow key. So in that case I pressed option down to enlarge the top screen because that's where my cursor was as you can see. And I can do that again, control B, option down to again increase the size of the screen so I can then make things different. Again, I can always split this screen, so I can do control B, double quote, to again split it, or control B, X to quit this pane, and then control B, percent sign, to now split it like this. So this makes it pretty cool, okay? Now to detach from this session, I can then do control B, D, and that will detach me from the session. Now. I actually have detached from it, but I actually can get back to it if I want to. So as you can see, it did tmux detach 7. Now if I do tmux ls, now I'm back to my regular terminal. I can run this command, and I can see all the different sessions I have. And as you can see here, I have session 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, and that 7 was the name of the session I had. I hadn't, read, I hadn't named it. As you can see here, I have a session named AJ. You can name your sessions. So it gave me the corresponding next integer after six because that was my other latest numerical session. And if I want to, I can then do tmux attach and give it a version number of seven. And so now, as you can see, I have my panes back exactly as they were. And if I were running anything, they would be Back. So now I have my setup exactly as I want it. So I could have different sessions for different configurations, which is pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to go over some other cool things to do. For instance, if you ever forgot a command in tmux, all you would need to do is do control B. Let's, let me actually show you guys another feature before we do this. So let's say I'm in this terminal right here and I'm doing ls. If I wanted to make this terminal full screen for a second, I would do my leading key and then Z, and then I would have it all to myself. So this is for Zoom. I didn't delete any of the sessions. If I wanted to go back, I would simply do Control B, Z again. I'm gonna go back to full screen here for a second to show you guys 
that if I wanted needed help with Tmux, I could look up all of my commands with Control B question mark, and that shows me. So it has bind key, which I know is Control B by default, and then I have all these keys. So I know, for instance, prefix, and then double quote is split window, and then prefix. Uh, percent sign is split window horizontally. I then know there's ways to select the different window panes. And selecting the different window is then is different than selecting a pane. And so that's pretty easy right there. To quit out and so that. these are all and the different commands. You can play with them as you can. Command key Z to put me back to where I started. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a window. So now you can see I have one window, but I have three panes within this window. Something I can also do is control B and then do C to create a new window. And as you can see my bottom left, I have zero and one. So if I want to switch windows, I can do my leading key and then zero to go back to my first panes or leading key one to go back to this window. So now I have multiple windows and then I can again divide this up accordingly how I want to. That is pretty dang cool. I want to cycle between the windows. I can do my leading key N and to go forward and my leading key P. So in case I had multiple windows, like in this case now I have three, I can then just cycle between them if I quickly want to go back with P or next with N. Something else I can do is I can rename my session by doing my leading key dollar sign. Then as you can see in my bottom left right here, I have a rename session. So I can rename my session anything I want. I'll call it tutorial. I can then save it. And what this does is that when I quit out of here using control B T D, I can then do Tmux LS. And I, you can see that I have all my sessions here, but instead of seven, I have tutorial. So I can do tmux attach tutorial. And then I also need my T for my target session. Sorry, I forgot that right there. Okay, so now I have it as a name, and I can just pull it up anytime I want. And then again, I can just cycle through everything using control N or um, control B, not control N, but control B N or my arrow keys to get where I want so then I can go through all my windows and make all the panes as I want I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see another one go below for a written documentation of this go to my website at applejuicescholars.com give this a big like if you guys liked it and tell me what I can do to get better guys have a great day